want to look at one of the mysteries of circular motion. Circular motion, uh, if we remember, uh, has something rotating around in a circular path, clearly, and there is a kind of a radial speed. And um, at the same time as there being this radial speed, there is an acceleration. Um, so what we want to kind of resolve and explore here is this radial speed must be constant. If it's not constant, that means it's going ever faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And it can't be doing that because uh, yeah, <laughs> just can't, otherwise circular motion wouldn't work. Circular motion that is at a constant rate has a constant acceleration. And the speed around the outside is constant. So uh, there's a couple of things we need to be aware of. One, uh, let's make this all written out. One. Um, acceleration is a change in velocity over time. So as long as time's passing, as long as velocity is changing, then you have an acceleration. Okay, two. A change in velocity. Okay, change in velocity um, can be a change in direction. Now, this is going to make a bit more sense when I bring in the next next part. Okay, a change in velocity does not automatically mean a change in speed. Okay, right now you might be thinking, what is he on? Here's the, here's the key to this. So a change in velocity does not automatically mean a change in speed. Okay, let's let's elaborate. Remember that I'll write this in green because this is the key to the whole thing. Vectors are different from scalars. Okay, a vector quantity like velocity. Okay, so V for velocity. Let's write it actually. Vectors, like velocity, uh, are not the same as scalars like speed. Now, to the layman, they're both the same thing, but to the physicist, they're not. Okay, really, really, really important. A, where are we? A change, um, a, a constant speed, um, can be occurring at the same time that there is a change in velocity because velocity being a vector quantity is magnitude and direction but speed is just a magnitude okay just a magnitude that means if we go back up to our circle um, I've made them smaller now but uh, your your velocity uh, at a tangent to the surface of the circle, let's redraw that, so your velocity here at a tangent to the to the surface uh, or perpendicular to the radial direction um, that is changing because the direction is constantly changing, next position around it's here next position around it's here and so forth in a straight line tangential, but the speed the actual rate that that individual point at the surface is moving on to the next individual point that distance over time um, is not changing. So you can have a constant speed, but you've still got an, an acceleration or a change in velocity. Okay, really, really important. Um, this is always, always mentioned in test questions. Um, yeah, if you're still not sure, questions, uh, comments, examples, um, this one 
deserves a bit of reflecting on, a little bit of time.